Hi everyone. Mary in Espresso Press Design. I thought I would pop on and let me adjust my camera here a minute. I thought I would pop on and do this last minute Christmas craft with you because I think um, it's so quick and so nice that a lot of you might find it helpful these last days. Um, I sure did. And it's coming from, uh, it's modified from Michelle at Pink Strawberries. And it's a tea chocolate album with a origami type fold. And um, you can do it with a circle. She used a die. I've already made several. I used a die. I made these little cards that will go in them using my tiles. And then for me, these are going to hold money <laughs> for some relatives and my daughter. And um, then I thought, no, let's let's see if we can do something easier for people that might not have a circle or a die. You could make a template, which I originally did. And then I thought, no, let's try a square. And this is my little prototype with tea. So that's what we're going to do today. And I just, um, there you go. And it also holds a chocolate if you want. And then they go inside this little mini album, three of them. And then we'll be folding it up and that's how it will look. So I'm just going to um, read the scores, give you the measurements. We'll assemble is however many we have time. And um, what you'll need are some scraps. Hers were 3.25. I'm using 3x3. Three three. And you'll need at least four to make one of these. Or you'll need 12 to make three. You'll need a sheet of 3x12. That was her measurement. Um, I made mine 3.25, three and a quarter by 12. So all you're going to do, we'll make one of these here, is fold your little squares in half. One, and I'm trying to, I'm using up my remaining Christmas scraps. Um, and I'm not really caring <laughs> which way the pattern's going to end up. But if you care, pay attention to that. Okay, there's one. So you'll need four folded in half. this on the bottom. Let's do this. Okay, so you'll need some glue 
and you'll need a corner rounder, decorator, corner, or none at all because you can leave it square. And then you're just going to put glue and this paper is pretty thin as you saw my original prototype was just printer paper. I think that's sturdy enough to hold a tea bag. Then you're going to glue that. I probably want to leave a little space between that and the seam. And I'm not going to round my corners until I get this glued together, although you could do them right from the start. And then you're just going to line that up. Okay. Let's see where I put that. Okay, I put two behind. Wait, which way was my. Okay. I'm trying to figure out which ones they glued in. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with both of mine upper and lower in the back. I think she alternated hers actually. I think she started on the top left and worked her way around. And the hardest part for me was keeping um, keeping those circles straight so I could end up with a square. <laughs> it's kind of like me doing an envelope, and I'm like, how could I, how could I screw that up? And it's not looking square, but sure enough, I did. Okay. So there you have it, and I'll take this one, I think, just round the corners. It's looking a little lumpy, but that's okay. It's going to be attached inside the album. This paper, I don't even know. You might want to use glue stick. That would work, I'm sure. I think I'll use glue stick next time. But. Okay. Let me get a card here and see if I can. we go. It's a little better. Oh, see that one's that one's crooked. Okay, so then I like to go over under, wait, I have to do these. Under, okay, that's cute. And then you can just decorate that how you want. Um, I have this little button here. I might pop on that. That would be cute. Um, 
my daughter's card. I just used some flowers and Christmas colors. Little dots. Take your circle punch. Make some little dots and Christmas colors. Stickers. Whatever you want. And then I have some glue dots here. I'm just going to um, dot these in here. Get them in so I can show you the album how it folds up. Okay, then you'll have another and another and you have your gusset there. It should be fine. Okay, let's make another one. See how quick that is? One, two. I want to make sure I get some of these. I might end up yeah, see that one will be two and two. That's okay. I'll put that in the middle. Um, how did I do that? Okay, remember, fold in half. Let me make sure I'm in here. So, this is my last all my Christmas paper is put away and I just thought I would I like this project so much she is so amazing I didn't know if I would have time later in the week. So I thought I'll just do my Christmas video today. And that way if I don't get to another one before Monday or Tuesday, that's okay. But I am... Almost done. If I have to go out to the store today, I will probably not be happy. I do not like shopping the last week of Christmas. But on the bright side, and that doesn't even look Looks like my cutter made a curve. Oh man, I hope I get a guillotine. I am tired of that thing. I'm tired of buying blades. Half the time I don't even think it cuts straight. Although that could be operator error. The arm, the arm of it, yeah, that has a curve. How could that have a curve? Oh. Paper shifted from the trimmer, I guess. And this paper. I wish, I don't even know why I bought it from Hobby Lobby. It's so thin. Okay. There's two. This way, you know. 
Everybody can do this. Don't need a don't need a die, and I was ready to sit there and cut out circles with a template because I do not have circle dies because I could see me using decorative circles more than plain circles in projects. So I bought the decorative, and I bought ovals, decorative. I mean, it's not that I wouldn't like to have them. I would. <laughs> should crease that a little. I would like to have them eventually. That needs trimmed. Good lord. Over. Under. Under. <laughs> I'm crooked. Here. There's number two. I'll probably put that up on top. Yes, I'm almost done. I hope you all are having a good week. And you're almost done too. I have to do a food basket today. Wrap. One more. Try to get this one straight. And truth be told, I'm still sending out Christmas cards. This, um, Not just the cat incident, but although I'm happy to say my little kitty is doing a lot better. He actually went out yesterday for the first time in weeks. And he was the day we called the vet. To check in, we have to go in one more time. The day we called the vet to check in, I told the vet, well, he's doing great. He looks less swollen. Um, it's starting to appear that you can see the actual joint. You know, the outline of the joint instead of just a big lump. And then sure enough, the next day he started, or even maybe even later that day, he started limping again. 
and favoring it and not putting it down. And then I was like, oh no, please don't start this cycle again. But the vet said, let me get this in here and then maybe I can line things up better. Although the vet said it would take two to six weeks to heal. Okay, there's number three. Where are we? 21 minutes. I wish I could be like her, Michelle. Oh, I don't think she does a video every 15 minutes. And she puts, well, she doesn't totally put things together, but she at least decorates. And then I think I'm going to compile uh, something, some kind of freebie to give away for Christmas. I think it's just going to be three or four sheets of various labels. that might be all you know everyone everyone kind of needs labels or everyone can use labels okay that's cute. See what I mean? That is just, that is so cute. And you know, you could put this in a journal. It doesn't have to be for gifts. You could put little ephemera in there. Little journal cards, whatever. You can keep them single. And there we go. It folds up. Isn't that like the cutest thing ever? <laughs> I think so. And so simple. And you don't need a circle. Just do it with squares. Three by three. I'll put these measurements. It's, it's a 3 by 12, minus 3.25 by 12. My little squares are 3 by 3. You're going to score at 3 and a quarter, 3 and a half, 6 and 3 quarters, 7, 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half, and 11. And that's going to leave your... one and a half inch flap and then of course you can do some velcro you could do a ribbon probably a glue dot would hold this i bet let's see anybody can make this i, I almost grabbed you know what I almost grabbed? A paper bag and cut that up. That's what I almost grabbed. And there you go. Pop some little chocolates, teas in there. She's amazing. Cute. Okay. And here's mine again. And here's my little cards. There's mine open if you want to see what die I used. Any type of circle die will work. It's mine. Okay.
Okay. Have a very Merry Christmas, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.